There are a lot of potential updates coming to Salmon Run in Splatoon 3. Nintendo has already confirmed to us that we will be seeing Big Run in the near future, and many other updates have also been datamined. Although datamined material isn't guaranteed to make it into the game, it's pretty likely that much of this will. So I thought it'd be a good idea to compile all of the upcoming Salmon Run updates that have been datamined so far. You might have already seen a lot of this information in separate videos, I've made videos about it before, but I thought it would still be good to compile all of it and go over some stuff that I haven't mentioned yet. This is all courtesy of the data miner Oatmeal Dome who does a fantastic job sharing all of this information on their Twitter, which I'll leave a link to in the description because they definitely deserve your follow. Starting us off, we have potential new modes for Salmon Run. Oatmeal Dome says the unreleased Salmon Run game modes pair, team contest and underground may be a part of a new mode codenamed Limited. Limited has its own reward meter with just capsules, no bonus gear. When Limited is open, an announcement will be made on the news. So, new modes for Salmon Run definitely sounds pretty significant, and this would be outside of Big Run, which is its own thing. We don't really have much more information about what these modes would work like yet, but I guess you can infer some things from their names. Either way, it sounds like it would be a pretty major update. In a separate related tweet, Oatmeal Dome says there are three possible new Salmon Run modes coming in a future update. Pair, Underground, and Contest. Pair and Underground will have their own pay grades and titles. In addition, Underground will have higher quotas per wave, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7 than normal. So there's a little bit more information about them. Speaking of Big Run, we also learned some more information about that. It appears Big Runs follow a similar cycle to Splatfest. A Big Run is announced in advance, the Big Run starts, the results are shown after it ends. I'm not sure exactly what is included in the results. The square may also change in some way. So I did actually make a video about how it seems like Big Run is going to be the new version of Splatfest in Splatoon 3. It wouldn't make it so that Splatfest don't happen, but maybe Big Runs would happen alongside them or alternate between them. Either way, this is going to be a really exciting new mode and it seems like Nintendo will be pulling out all of the stops for it to make it super significant. I'm sure they realize there's a lot of people who still haven't even really gotten into Salmon Run, so I feel like this is their way of trying to encourage more people to play it. This next discovery might actually just be unreleased content, but it's still something we could see in the future. It appears like there's a large version of the Golden Egg which will actually be worth 10 in its own right. It appears to be related to the Giant Tornado event which is very interesting. It's unknown whether it will actually appear fully in the game in the future, but I definitely think this could be a good idea. In terms of new features, Oatmeal Dome shared that there may be something called scenarios which could be added in the future. The feature appears to be similar to replays where players can upload their own scenarios and download others via scenario code. So just a nice little quality of life change which I think people will enjoy. Being able to see a replay of your matches will definitely be a good thing and it'll help people share that gameplay if they want to as well. So yeah, just a nice little improvement. We also know about some potential future bosses and unused enemies that we could see added. Oatmeal Dome says there are currently four unused Salmon Run enemies in the game code. Balloon, Big Balloon, Ghost, and Wheel. Big Balloon is very likely a King Salmonid. The game shows unique dialogue for Mr. Grizz when it appears, like Koho Zuna. So I'm actually going to assume that this boss would be added after a big run. Due to the massive scale of that event, it's likely that a King Salmonid would appear to defend their territory. So yeah, I definitely think we are going to see more bosses in the near future and Big Run will likely reveal more of this to us, but even more sort of just general bosses that you can get maybe added as well by the looks of things. They could of course be unused as they did add already quite a few new ones with Splatoon 3, but we may see even more in future updates. Big Balloon appears to have the ability to create an ink explosion, and its netcode synchronizes an event called Charge. In addition, it may be restricted to moving on a rail rather than being able to move around freely. Balloon could also create an ink explosion, not sure if it's related to Big Balloon. Ghost appears to create some kind of smoke effect. Wheel basically has no information outside of its name. There are no assets, textures, models, text in the game for any of the enemies. So yeah, if we want to learn even more about these, we're definitely going to have to see a future update. But so far, it's really interesting to learn some things about these potential new bosses, especially if they are King Salmonids, because I feel like that's something we definitely need to see more of. 
Well, I hope you found this compilation of potential Salmon Run updates useful. Once again, huge thanks to Oatmeal Dome, who I will link down in the description. Obviously, like I said, keep in mind that data mine information is not guaranteed to come to the game, but it'd be really exciting if it did. Let me know what you're most looking forward to down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Splatoon content.